What is up everyone, I'm Scratch, welcome to the channel, this is another Dragon Age Silent Gods video. Guys, it's time to summon for my most wanted hero in Dragon Age Silent Gods, and that is of course Ogok. Now, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this moment, and I really hope that I'm going to get him. Now, I don't have an insane amount of Heliolite dice, but you know what, we're going to try our luck. Now, this video is sponsored by Dragon Age Silent Gods, so I just want to say a big thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are new to the channel or you haven't tried Dragonair Silent Ghost just yet, or you want to help and support the channel, you can download Dragonair by using my link in the description down below, or in the pinned comment, or by scanning the QR code you see on the screen. Season 3, the Echoes of the Deep is here, guys. Awakening the Spring of Iskaland event started today as well, so I will need to do some summons on this one, but I have 4 weeks to do it, and uh, I'm not going to summon here just yet. I'm going to summon on the banner guys for Ogok. Now, usually I would recommend you to summon on these banners if you have a, a good stash of Heliolite, uh, if you are ready to hit the Mercy, if you have 35 at a minimum just in case if anything goes wrong and your luck is not amazing. Uh, the heroes that we have right here, not all of them are crazy, you know, like we have some solid ones. We have of course Ogok, we have Theodorem, we have Filto. Um, uh, Aspaltash is not bad either, Huldor not bad uh, as well. Hopefully, hopefully, we're gonna get the one we need. Now, I already checked all of the upcoming events, guys. I won't be having uh, another chance to get Ogok only in the uh, next type of event where uh, you can basically choose three different legendaries to, uh, to be blessed, and that is not as good as this one, you know? So I'm going to basically YOLO in here and pray Pray for the best, Ogok. I really need him to go together with my Zephy. Uh, so far, I did not have the best experience with this, uh, with these summoning banners. Uh, I'm not really getting extremely lucky, but I hope that today is going to to change it. You know, I hope that today we are going to get extremely lucky, and we're going to bring that Ogok uh, home from the very first legendary drop, and uh, we can just call it a uh, call it a day after. You know. I'm gonna do a few single uh, single pulls just to kind of like warm up my uh, my luck in here, guys. You know, who knows? Maybe maybe we get lucky early on and we don't have to waste all of them. That would be absolutely amazing. Uh, you know, a man can dream, guys. A man can dream. Plus, I'm not very sure how exactly it's going to work. For example, let's just say you summon two legendaries in the same um, the same five pop, right? Um, the first one is not the blessed one. Will the chance instantly increase? So the second one that drop has a higher chance to drop. That's why I'm kind of like a bit like, should I do singles? Should I do five pops? You know, I would assume the chance will increase. Uh, so probably doing five pops should be should be okay. You know, I haven't summoned at all on this banner just yet. So hopefully we're not gonna have to uh, to hit the mercy because that's gonna be pretty cruel. You know, we only had uh, 42. Heliolite dice in total, right? That would be enough to complete the legendary event for me, you know, uh, and uh, basically get everything that uh, that I need from there, because I won't really need uh, more than that. With the placement that I'll be getting on the leaderboard for the bosses, uh, hitting 22 plus millions on the teams would be good. Atchis, she's actually a pretty awesome epic, guys. Uh, if you just summon her, she can basically bring you a cleanse, recharge speed penalty on the on the enemy, heal reduction, all of these debuffs are actually massive. Now, my main kind of like complaint about Etch is that she's a melee, and in most most of the cases, it's going to be a bit harder to keep her alive, especially versus the chief challenge uh, bosses or stuff like that, you know? Oh, man, I really thought that that will be it. I really thought that that will be our legendary dropping in there. Ena, a pretty good cleanser as well for a rare. She's kind of like the only true rare cleanser next to Fitz, right? He's, he's a decent one as well. We just got a legendary right here, Sigrid! Absolutely insane, guys. This passive is just so crazy. When an enemy inflicted with debuffs dies, the hero gains 25% ultimate energy. Now, if you are new to Dragonair Silent Gods, if you just downloaded the game right now, or if you've been playing in Season 1 and you haven't got Sigrid just yet, the Battle Pass will give you a free rare chest at level 10. Make sure you pick Sigrid if you don't have her. There's no, no question about it, okay? No second thoughts. Just pick her. Just pick her and you will not regret it. 
Ogok, please come home. Please come home. It's been a long time. I feel like last season I tried a bit uh, uh, on the banner as well, and I was unlucky, you know? So, uh, who knows? Who knows? This might be... Oh, Gladros, nice. He's a solid, uh, solid epic as well. I like using him usually uh, in the other world event versus the Chaos Shadow bosses. He has this amazing uh, ultimate skill. Grants a shield to each ally within range, and any ally under shield gains debuff immunity. Now, the only problem is that if the shield gets broken, so does the immunity. The immunity disappears if they don't have the, the shield, you know. But he can still attack from the enemy, which will reduce the damage that the bosses will basically deal uh, 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 versus, versus you. So he's a pretty, pretty solid uh, epic champion, epic hero, however you guys call them. Epic tunes. Legendary, no, that is a five rare tax, man. That makes me feel bad right now. That makes me feel bad right now, guys. Okay, we got Sickle, the aura, the aura rare. Let's go back to single pops because that was just painful. That was just painful. Ogok, where are you hiding? Where are you? Oh, man, I thought that he was here. Okay, another Atches. Considering that uh, we have a limited pool of epics on uh, this banner as well, guys, you know, getting the same... Um, Epic over and over is something that will happen very often. Please be, be the one, please. Oh, <laughs> Guy Olaire. I, I actually did not have him, okay? I did not have him. I don't even remember what he does. When an ally summons an undead creature, makes this summon unit deal derivative necrotic damage to nearby enemies within uh, range, I would assume, within 5 seconds, okay? Then uh, what do we have? Summons a skeleton which lasts for 20 seconds. And duplicates an ally on that creature, which then gains 50% ultimate energy and additionally grants attack up. Uh, yeah, I'm not feeling him. He kind of sucks by the looks of it, unfortunately. Uh, the usual summoners are just not great, guys. I'm not, I'm really not feeling them like amazing, you know. So far, uh, especially missing some of the, some of the OP ones like Leilani's, uh, Premtsa, you know, they're just not very powerful, the summoners. I do like to use uh, Joyce a lot. Um, it's a bit different, though. He is a bit different. Now, can we get that Ogok home, man? Sabrina, I recently made a, a spotlight on her, guys. She rocks. Like, if you don't have a Rook and you're trying to increase the damage with your Corrosion team, she's going to put in some serious work. Converts 25% of the current corrosion to damage immediately when the hero skills deal damage to enemies. So this is a nice one. She's an AoE as well. Uh, definitely not a not a hero to sleep on, you know. She's pretty, pretty solid. Pretty, pretty solid. Man, that legendary kind of sucks. I wish it would have been a filter or something else at least. Or a Theodemer too. Just basically uh, inspire them, you know. Let's go with single pops. Five more than we're going to do. Uh, five pops because maybe our luck is going to change with that. Who knows? Who knows? These banners are pretty, pretty harsh sometimes. You can get extremely lucky, do one summon, five summons, and get the desired, uh, the desired hero, or end up in going all the way up to twenty x with the legendary pools and uh, only get him there. You know, so it's pretty, it's pretty harsh if you're not lucky. A uh, Sovel is not a bad frost hero, actually. I like that he uh, reduces the ultimate energy by 30%, but it's only a 50% uh, chance, scrolled a 65% chance for it to, to happen. I actually used him in Arena when I had a, a CC uh, PvP tournament. He was actually doing the job. He was getting the job done. We got a Thea, okay. Not a very good uh, rare hero. Come on, game. Please give me that Ogok, please. Please. Okay, this does not look like an Ogok to me. Fizzle, let's do a 5 pop, guys. Ogok, 2x chance. Come on, baby. Make it happen. Make it happen. Oh, that's just an epic. Fitz, there we go. Because we were talking about him. He's not bad either, you know. Uh, gains healing and transfers all allies' debuffs to the hero. So he's cleansing all your team, but then everything is on, uh, is on him, you know. Gertin, my god. What a beast for the Ice Blast, guys. If you don't have her, I strongly suggest you to keep an eye on all of the summoning uh, banners. Maybe she's going to be part of a chest or something. Definitely try to pick her up. She is absolutely mental in an Ice Blast team. It doesn't matter uh, if you have any other Ice Blast legendaries. 
if you just have Bled in with her, they are going to absolutely rock, rock your world, basically, you know? <laughs> They're going to smash all the, all the content. Okay, five, five more guys. Come on, Ogo, please. Don't let us down. Don't let us down. Damn, no legendary here. So we got an Atchis again. Uh, well, be a pretty good rally hero. Uh, Kamari, decent, decent-ish tank. Uh, gains defense up, guys. Uh, he has a chance to knock up the, the target. And uh, he can resurrect an ally. Decent-ish. It's not the best tank. You kind of like want to have uh, more things like tons of healing on him, decrease attack, or something that's not just a gimmick, you know? Okay, five more summons, man. Come on. Don't let us down. Don't push us into the mercy. Don't push us into the mercy. Ogok, please be the one. Please. Now is your moment. Oh, no, Bion Frey. <laughs> no, 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 no. My God. He was my second legendary pull in uh, Dragonair, guys, in the Bera. I gotta say it, man. I am not loving this hero. He definitely needs a bit of a a bit of a rebalance, something to make him a bit more interesting. Releasing the skill, the next basic attack will cast a roar that uh, has a chance to taunt the enemies, deals derivative lightning damage, not very uh, impressive, gains control immunity, has a chance to stun. So basically, he can stun quite a bit, uh, gains the defense up on himself, but honestly, he's a pretty bad tank uh, all around. He's definitely not, uh, not very impressive. You know, definitely not very impressive. So there we go. At least I'm not on the mercy. I'm definitely not going to attempt more for Ogok now. I'm on a 4x. Seems like it's just not meant uh, to be this time around, you know. So I guess I'm going to have to maybe wait for, uh, for the, next, uh, the next season, guys. Uh, the events that we have at the moment, how I mentioned, the future events that are going to, to start, in my opinion, are not as good to go and summon on the Celestial Artenate summons instead of uh, what we have at the moment, because these ones will basically uh, make us to pick three heroes as blessed instead of one. So it's, uh, it's a bit different. I'm sure he's going to be on one of them uh, here as well somewhere. Probably one of these ones towards the, the end, maybe here. No, it's definitely part of, uh, of one of them, but this gives you chests and seems like Garius is part of it so save some summons if you're missing Garius save some summons and um, you're gonna be able to pick one of these epics with a chest now keep in mind uh probably in around two weeks we're gonna have their anniversary event which will introduce again the 99 cent uh, chest that will allow you to basically get the get the uh, epic hero that you desire this is a very solid banner right here I will probably, I will probably attempt to summon again on this one for him, for Whisk, because I'm missing Whisk, and uh, probably for uh, Evelius. I have no Dauntless legendaries that are really, really strong, so this is a very good, uh, very good banner. But guys, that was all for the video. Unfortunately, my luck was not, uh, was not very good. I do wish you better luck. I managed to summon uh, uh, two legendaries, right? So I can't really complain about it. I guess I can purchase some. Uh, uh, different legendary artifacts. I still have a few that uh, I kind of like uh, want to purchase, especially now I can purchase some for the Dauntless if I'll ever want to use any of them. So I have a few different, uh, different options right here. How I mentioned, that's all for the video. Thanks again to Dragonair for sponsoring today's video. If you guys want to get involved, you can download the game by using my link in the description down below or in the pinned comment or by scanning the QR code you see on the screen. Much love. Peace.